it just we begin and of course while we shuffle the cards i would much appreciate for you to subscribe my channel thank you and let's see and by the way we do not read reversals with this deck actually the big decks that i'm using i always um um take the upright i don't know why i'm called to do like this i feel it like this i don't know matter of intuition no idea it's just uh, the way it is um aries we do have the magician manifestation 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 of course it's paired with the five of pentacles so we've been rejected by somebody pushed away no thank you um kind of energy we might feel a little bit right that we are in um in um a cold zone right <laughs> remind me of the hospital in a cold zone um but um manifestation right for some of you this is the key setting out the intent staying positive knowing this is all about confidence right there so it's kind of like the universe saying no you do have what it takes to come out of a very cold situation right you have what it takes um to make changes important changes in your life you have all the tools you have the mind you have the passion um, you know, the wits, the smarts, uh, the emotional stability to go through and look at this. Magician and two of wands. Manifest a new path. I love this. Manifest a new path. Manifest coming out of crossroads with the best choice possible, right? The magician, every time I see the magician is the energy of now what? You know, what is the best version of you? What is the best path you can take? What is the best decision you can make? Magician and the Knight of Cups to love again, right? Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. For some of you, it's a water sign. But because of the energies and the way it feels, and I thought I saw the devil right under, of course, devil and the Knight of Cups. So we let go of toxicity and we manifest pure love. That's the night. We manifest pure, pure, kind, emotional, sensual love. <clears throat> so let's see bottom of the deck for the overall um, energy for this time. And it's um, end of June, the third week. But of course, um, you know how time is fluid. So we do have Ten of Wands, we do have Four of Wands, and we do have the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. So we are in two minds about um, Aries. I'm, I'm sensing here we are in two minds about a situation. <clears throat> um, it's um, right involving home. Some of you, you are married to this person. Some of you have a relationship with this person. <clears throat> a solid one. And yet we have to be patient with making a decision because we don't have the, the full portrait of. And we also have the Ten of Wands, right? We are we feel responsible for this household, for this home, um, this person in your life. You want to do the job, you want to do the work, you want to have success. You are patient and yet contemplating something here. So let's see what we contemplate. <clears throat> So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Energies right now. Possible outcome. Perfect. Oh, we are stressed. Oh, 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 oh. Nine of Swords and the Temperance, Sagittarius energy, but I feel that for you, I'm, I'm sensing an energy where we are in our mind a lot about this connection. We are stressed out. And actually, the balance of it all, right? It uh, question, is questioned, right? Your own balance, your own moderation, <clears throat> your own sense of compromise. Should I compromise or, or not? Should I give them a chance or not? You know? Do I have to do it? So it's a quite interesting. So let's see what this is all about. So in the past um, areas, we do have the star card, the Aquarius energy, and we do have the five of cups, right? There was a situation we feel responsible about, guilt and remorse, and we are healing from. Uh, for some of you, you might have lost an Aquarius. 
Um, if not a person doing a job in a public eye, that's the star, right? A person that's recognized, that um, has a certain um, status, a, a certain uh, position. Um, and they were your desire, right? That's uh, the, your wish fulfillment. And, and then probably something happened. And um, it's interesting because, of course, it can be about mourning and missing this person, the Five of Cups, but with the Ten of Wands. And this is the energy where we feel a little bit responsible for the failure we have in, on our mind. Oh, maybe I should have done things differently. Um, and um, it's the energy of following, right? How it feels, it feels like you follow this person like you follow the lucky star right and 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 then and then we got burdened and then we got into minds and we started questioning i i'm sensing you out of the uh, question period like politics you know you are at the question period and and yet um calm about and patient about right um, now here is this person of yours. Look at them, the amount of love they had for you. We do have the Queen of Cups and the Sun. You might have had a child with this person, but boy, the Cups and the Sun, right? That is a lot, of, a lot of love, a lot of enlightenment, a lot of um, awakenings and truth. And um, it's also the energy of um, making this person happy. They say you are my sunshine every time we see the sun, but with the Queen of Cups, it's the maturity that they brought in terms of emotion, in terms of emotions, but also knowing exactly that you are the one, right? Um, it's kind of, it's the apple of their eyes. This is how it feels, right? Queen of Cups with the sun. A tremendous amount of happiness. And it's interesting, it's also about wish fulfillment, and you, you both have this energy. One is... Um, as the star, the other one is as the sun, right? We we follow it. So, um, I it feels like a beautiful connection in the past, and yet that is a heaviness on your side areas, and you can swap sides, right? You take only what resonates, but or you take the one that resonates. Um, but I am sensing a heaviness on your part, or something, um, in terms of emotions, in terms of burdens that um kind of pulled you towards some thinking process that you are in right now right and of course we had a lot of passion ace of wands and also the king of swords i believe the situation went from extremely passionate to the king of swords energy quite cold for some of you this is the energy of divorce this is the energy of separation this is the energy of our communication became a blunt and um at times a little bit rough um but the pa the passion was there right we also have here the energies of we came back to each other right um probably there was an ending with the ten of wands and we went back to the ace of wands a new cycle that is a strong energy of um back and forth kind of connection because that was love in it and um because that is this sense of wishful feminine that um, something was still fulfilling in this connection, so you went um, back to each other. Uh, probably you feel guilty about right now, or responsible, or maybe you think you shouldn't have, but this person comes from a place of love and emotions and truth, right? So where are we right now, Aries? We do have the Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. But we are manifesting a new beginning, right? Ace of Pentacles is, yeah, but I want... Um, it's a secret one. With the High Priestess, probably we are not doing much about, but you do have your pentacle in your hands, and this is the energy of, yeah, we can have something solid. Yeah, we can be mature about. Yes, we can build, um, actually, on this. Uh, probably longing for a second chance here, um, because... However you turn the situation, Aries, this one is a solid one with the Four of Wands. And as any long-term connection uh, or, you know, person that you had something solid, doesn't have to be long, but if it, it, the involvement, the commitment was, was strong and it had um, deep roots, right? Sometimes we question and we, um, and we doubt and we think. And we want the passion from the beginning, right? We want the sensuality and the playfulness and the newness of in it. 
but then it becomes pentacle which is stability right it's um it um, changes and i'm sensing this is what changed i'm not seeing bored but we will see i don't know if that is the problem <laughs> Well, this person of yours, silent, just as you are, you have the High Priestess, they have the Four of Swords, healing of the mind, break up, um, staying uh, quiet, staying put, planning, strategizing, and there might be a Pisces you are dealing with, but we do have them in the moon. Um, and it's such an expression, it can be an air sign, because we have dark emotions and the dark night of the soul on one side, and the most rational card the Four of Swords saying, planning, strategizing, trying to understand, healing the mind. So going through the whole process process of mourning with the power of the mind and um, trying to overshadow the shadow, right? <laughs> with the moon. It's quite interesting. It, it, um, it's like two opposites in, in their own mind, like two opposites trying to make sense of... Um, probably the lack of communication, the ghosting, because the moon is um, also the energy. And high priestess, by excellence, is the uh, ghosting energy. So, um, you know, I'm sensing that you are both kind of ghosting each other, but on your side, you you feel like something is on their side. And no, this is me time, so I'm going to heal my mind. And I'm going to um, gain some perspective on this. And distance. And look at the amount of missing um, Aries. Six of Cups, Five of Cups. Five of Cups is my I miss you like crazy. And the Six of Cups is the energy of being reminiscent about the past, remembering the time, going through communications, mess messages, whatever was exchanged, and simply manifesting again um, this energy. Six of Cups is also wanting reconciliation. People from the past coming back, so I'm quite sure both of you, you want to go back to each other and missing each other like crazy emotions 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 a lot of actually right six and five it's like an 11 uh, moving forward um aries the energy is coming your way page of pentacles yes that is an offer coming your way it is though um paired with the devil can be capricorn energy offering you you might be dealing with a Capricorn, but honestly, I'm, you know how it feels? It feels like, yes, we have an offer, but we are not ready. This is probably you'll receive energies coming your way. It is an offer, that's for sure. But again, the energy around it is like, we are not ready. I'm not sure this is good. Can be doubts, can be jealousy, can be questioning. It's a whole um, kind of energy that we need to look into. And now we are aware. So whatever you want to extend, this can also be your offer that you want to extend. But we ask for the energies coming your way and the outcome of this situation. And yes, an offer is, but we have to take it with eyes wide open. Um, this person of yours, for them, the outcome is stability, right? We ask for uh, what's coming their way and we have them in the four of pentacles this is about firm foundations and focusing on that and two of pentacles focusing on balance uh, keeping everything up and running keeping their life um, on track also and that is a sense of working on themselves if they work on their mind right now and um, kind of a little bit of um, uh, distance from the emotional turmoil because that is one here um, we have them becoming more um, stable, more concrete, or at least focused on um, getting on their um, feet, right? And of course, we better expect communication. We have King of Swords in the past, we have King of Swords in the future. It's all about communication, fairness, justice. Again, this energy of, um, of blunt communication, but it's the truth. And we also have Ace of Swords. Somebody here, both of you actually, um, somebody will speak. Now the question is who's going to speak first, but absolutely the mutual energies between the two of you is communication, 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 exchanges, blunt truth. Um, for I'm, I'm not sure forceful is the right word, um, but no matter what, I'm going to speak my truth and this is what I think. And now that we have all the energies, um, 
on the table we see the six of cups right in the middle of the reading so we know now this is a soulmate connection it started maybe as a passion as a chemistry as a flirt as a one night stand um you know it's like it feels like the energy of quick um sensuality and then we got a little bit enthusiastic with with this right and now it kind of settles down and it becomes more uh, okay let's think you know that where i come from that is this expression of thinking with what we have um below the belt you know we have it, it it's a philosophy right <laughs> it reminds me anyways i cannot but i hate it when um i i lived with um a lot of family members around us like a lot a lot all my mom's brothers and sisters and so i would have access to all kinds of sayings and proverbs in the whole you know oral culture and every time someone would say that i hate it and now as i get older i go back to <laughs> sayings and proverbs that i would hate when i was young and it's all that to say that it's it, we see a cycle in the connection we have a philosophy on that right and the first phase is with we call it the brains below the belt. <laughs> Anyways, and then we move up to the head and it kind of feels a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun by myself. It's four o'clock in the morning. Um, just saying, you know. <laughs> oh boy, I wish my mom would hear me <clears throat> say this. Uh, so, you know, this is how it feels extremely passionate and then it becomes okay well you know and um and so it, it feels like that kind of um you know um it's not a crisis but that kind of step in a, in a connection okay hey let's ask for some guidance areas for this i do love the pentacles in it i do love that they are on your side they are on their side too for the future so something will settle down, you know, when the dust um, settles a bit. Um, and right now we might be in the uh, battling of the silences. Um, does feel like one uh, for different reasons, right? On your side, I believe it's more intentional um, with the high priestess because it's a very uh, brainy kind of energy, right? So it's more intentional. I'm going to, I don't know if you want to teach them a lesson, but it's this energy of, I'm gonna stay quiet and let's see what happens while on their side the silence is paired with the moon which is a lot of uh, feeling lost right and uh, because they are working on themselves and they don't know what to do with this um hey let's ask for some guidance series let's see what we need to do with this connection we do have physical touch a tender touch can mean so much so what happened we forgot to have to make love, right? Um, physical touch and then we have rest and relaxation is essential. We, we all have a fundamental need to take a break. And bottom of the deck, slow down. That's crazy. Pause and allow things to unfold. Um, Aries. Right? Let's rest. It's a uh, rest and relaxation, probably because you have it paired with slow down. So somebody really needs to, um, you know, take a break and think about. Um, but I'm more sensing, like you know, um, probably you are apart from each other. So I'm sensing more of enjoy your time away and make something positive um, out of it. This is how I feel. And then you have physical touch. So you tell me what physical touch is about. I'm just saying, I'm teasing you. Hey. Um, guardian angels, right? We have the four of wands again. This is a marriage. This is solid Aries. This is solid. Um, probably it's just a bump in the road. Um, it feels like a connection getting cold, but um, um, not much. We don't have a crisis here. We have just a some devil energy to fix with twice the king of swords i'm not that concerned you'll find a way with your beautiful mind so hey your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety contentment and financial security this is you you deserve to take a break and enjoy take a break slow down rest and relaxation you have three times right the energy of taking a break 
you deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as an engagement, wedding, buying a new home or the birth of a child. You do have the Five of Pentacles and it is, do we have it? No, we had it in the shuffling, right? The Five of Pentacles. The energy of rejection and we do have the lovers. It was rejection, but it, it's love here. I know, I know, I know in soulmate bond. So Five of Abundance, there are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're, you're experiencing is temporary. This may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. And you have Seven of Pentacles as the overall energy. Somebody here is called to patience. Right? Slow down. Rest and relax. Um, be patient. And open your heart, um, Aries. Allow love, allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time. And now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant and healthy life. Anyways, just saying, you are called to be patient about this love. You are up. Well, that is love in here, that's for sure. Looks like they need a little bit more time. But you are not guided away from this person. On the contrary, you are guided to be patient. We do have past. And now we have the energies we need to get back into the flow. And we do have past. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situation or energy in order to transform your heart space. We have indecision. We have it with the two of swords, right? I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So Aries, if you are into minds about, and you are overall energies, two of swords, right? You question. You question the current situation and the current person. And you are guided to transform your heart space and use your intuition to make a decision. We have happiness. We forgot to bring uh, back happy. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Right? Forgiveness. We need to forgive somebody. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love, happiness and forgiveness. I'm sensing that is a message for somebody and you know when we let go and we forgive somebody. It's such a release and it actually does good to the whole energies around us because we want to keep them in the flow, right? And that is a message actually and it is use your intuition and you'll see that as soon as you forgive somebody you'll be happy again you'll be released again we do have commitment past commitment you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly knowing that love is the essence of your very being it is about commitment and you are guided to stay committed to this person and might be a bump in a road but it has love might feel like cold right now but it's real love and it's solid twice the four of ones right but of course you know better this is just a general and uh, you always have to use your better judgment in this right so Aries, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.